New Orleans Ballet Association's Dance for Parkinson's program, and we're so excited to get to dance with you all today. Uh, we're going to move through uh, sort of what our, a normal class of ours looks like. I want to remind you that any movement that we do, you're welcome to change it up or modify it a little bit to better suit your body, whatever works for you. And we don't concern ourselves too much with right or left in this class. We'll usually just do something on one side and then do it on the other side. And you're welcome to follow us along, maybe like you're in a mirror along with your screen. We're going to get started with a little warm up. Uh, that'll be both for our body and our imaginations. We're going to take a little journey into outer space today. <laughs> and I'm going to show you one move ahead of time, just so that we can really all sink into it when we do it all together with the music. And uh, the idea is that we're going to get a sort of rumbling tension, maybe you feel that I have balled up fists, maybe a shake, maybe even a rumble on the floor in your heels. It's going to feel like a rocket engine whirring underneath your chair. And then we're gonna plant our heels and reach up to the sky with wide outstretched hands. That's sort of the path of your rocket ship. And then I'm gonna get, let my hands sort of sparkle and crinkle on the way down, the way that those flames coming off of a rocket ship might. We're gonna start with our feet nice and firm beneath us, sitting up nice and tall in our chairs. You might imagine that maybe you're strapped into that hard seat in your rocket ship, keeping you nice and tall. And we'll take a few deep breaths together before we journey on into space. Some nice deep, full breaths all together. Maybe you hear ground control checking in on you and your earpiece. Asking if you're all set and ready. And maybe you're a little nervous or you have a little tension. That would be normal. Of course, you're about to go where no man has gone before. Maybe you loosen some of that up with some shoulder rolls. Squeezing up towards your ears and down your back. A little get ready massage. that countdown starting in your ear. Start to build up that tension, that rocket ship engine.
open is the door to your spaceship. So we're going to drift out into space. Another chance for a little improvisation here. Just experiencing the feeling of weightlessness. What it might feel like to be totally suspended out there. Floating around. As a giant by that weightlessness in your legs and your feet. I must be good so much. Your arms, fingertips, maybe your head and neck. It's lonely out of space. On such a time, I grab it. Very familiar with. 
Edelweiss from the Sound of Music. That's right. So we're going to take our hands, and I almost want you to feel like you're washing your hands, rolling them over each other. Sometimes I think about maybe I'm caring for a flower that's about to bloom, and then my hands, as they roll over each other, maybe they get bigger and bigger. The object or the bloom that I'm caring for gets bigger. That's right. Nice and big. Then we're going to take our hands, palms up, and do the biggest scoop down and up, like you're serving something very high on a tray right there. And then right from that point, we're going to go back into that soft, caressing, rolling feeling of our hands. Everybody's rolling and shaping. It's going to look a little different. And then we're going to take one arm across our body with our pointer finger and span across the circle space in front of us. Now, look there. Our hand is right out here. Very convenient. We're going to take that up and over like you're drawing a circle around your space. And we're going to reach on the diagonal. Now, if you'd like to extend one foot, you can really get a full arabesque in there together. That's nice. We'll take the other hand up and over. It's like you're drawing a circle around your space. We take that off into the distance and you can reach out that leg if we'd like to get a full arabesque. We're going to come back to the center. Again, rolling, caressing our arms, just enjoying the moment. And we're going to do a couple of scoops into our heart, one hand and then the other, and give it away. That's it. We're going to do that two times with the music. Beautiful. So we're going to start that music right now and go right into this dance. Mm -hmm. Put your hands together. Be ready. Big spin, palms up. You can also totally let them kind of have a rest, that's up to you. 
uh, but you might not be able to deny moving along to this song. But we're going to start out with four heel digs out to one side. And remember, right or left doesn't really matter much. I'm just going to send one foot out and stab at the heel. Together. A heel. Together. We're going to go four times on one side. And then we'll switch to the other. And three. And two. And one. Beautiful. And the next step, instead of that heel jab, we're going to go for a little toe tap. So I'm going to reach my toes out twice with the same foot. Out. And in. And then like a little soft shoe move, I'm going to let it circle out and around on the floor and step together. And we'll try that on the other side. We have two toe taps in that rond de jambe. Our toes go out and in, out and in. Slide it out and around. Step together. Great. So you have your heel digs, your toe taps. And this next step, I'm going to go from one side to the other again. I'm going to use my heel kind of like a hinge. And I'm going to use my elbow the same way. It's sort of tucked into my side here. I'm going to open one side four times. Cheese. 
sort of swinging walk with a snap. Or maybe a clap or a percussion. Now you can stay right here in your chair, connected to your chair. Or you could join me taking a little walk around your chair if you have a good And we'll meet back up together in a step that we all know. So we'll find ourselves behind our chairs in that parallel position up nice and tall.
great job. This next dance we're gonna do, Kelly's gonna lead us in, is gonna be some center work. So you can stay with your chair nearby as a little balance assist. Or if you're comfortable, you might scoot your chair off to the side so that you have a little freedom. Uh, and if you see the dancers, um, I will be seated for the next portion of the class so you can keep your eyes on me there. This dance is to Adele, Rolling in the Deep. We're gonna listen to the beginning and then we're gonna kind of sizzle our hands a little bit. And then we're gonna take those sizzle hands like a crackling fire up. And then we're gonna wipe down really big. Everybody's gonna look a little bit different when we do this. However you do those big wipes. And then we'll sizzle, crackle up, that's right. And then big wipes down. You got it. Then we're gonna do some darts all around our space. So we dart and dart. You wanna make your movements sharp. You can dart at the screen to us or an object in the room. That's right. We're gonna have about eight of these really sharp darts. And then we're gonna add a little clap, a little percussion to each dart. So on the second set, we're gonna add that spark. That's right. Like you're striking a match all over. Great job. So after our darts, we've had our sizzle, in our dart section. We're gonna do a little sunshine arm. That's right. Up and over. We're gonna roll it in and hug it close. We'll take that sunshine arm. The sunshine arm kind of reminds me of what April just did in sunny side of the street. And we did that in our warm up. When we hug in close, we're gonna do a roll up. Beautiful job. Now this next part is right during the course and it's a lot of fun to do. We're gonna step, step, and then we're gonna step. We're gonna hinge out our heel and back in. That's right, try that again. Step, 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 out and in. Step, 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 out and in. That's right, a little twist. Step, step, out and in. Down here in Louisiana, I call that move squash the bug. We're squashing the bug. So we have that fun little moment right there. Then we're just gonna sort of have a, a moment in dance where we can keep the beat. So we're gonna do a step. I might move around a little bit in that part. Travel a little bit. That's right. Good. Sunshine arm situation. Big and expansive and reaching and hugging. And big and expansive and reaching. And this time when we hug, we're gonna roll up nice and slow. We go back to my favorite part. Step, step, squash the bug. We step, 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 squash that bug. So now you kind of got the bones of the dance. We sizzle darted, we've had our sunshine arms, and we've had our squash the bug step. Now we're just going to kind of go for it. You don't need to remember any order. I'm going to make sure I call everything out to you, and you're going to do it right along with us. Okay, so here we go. We're going to kind of make sure we're in a nice wide base and we're standing, and we're going to put our sizzle hands out, ready to sizzle. You got it. Wipe it in. We go sizzling. That's it. Keep going. Now, send those darts out all over the place. Let's have a clap. Sunshine arms, 